Well hello, uh, I'm Peter Irvine. As you can see from the YouTube channel, Peter Irvine Kingdom Momentum, we now have a large range of videos helping uh, you in business or your career or your life or your relationships. And these are called Business Bites and they cover everything from leadership to marketing, building actionable plans, how to review people, uh, negative mindsets. There's so many things to enjoy. But I'm starting a new series and it's called Connecting Faith to Business, to Life, whether you work in a business, your employee, your uh, work in a church, uh, ministry, or just doing life with your family and day to day. What is God saying to us from each book of the Bible? And we'll start with Genesis and work our way through. And there'll be several videos from each book. Uh, I can't tackle everything that's in them, but man, you're going to be challenged and encouraged and built up and helped on the journey. Now, these are just highlights from each book, but there are 66 books in the Bible, so this will take some time. But you may not be aware that 32 of the 66 books have the word go. So God's interested in us going and moving forward and growing. And in fact, some of the books have the word go many times. And God wants us to listen, learn, and grow. And when his people settled down, they became disillusioned, uncomfortable, and did things they shouldn't do. And he picked them up and moved them on. He constantly told them about vision in Habakkuk uh, chapter 3. He said, get the vision clear, write it down and speak it out. In the book of Proverbs, it was written, uh, plans fail for lack of counsel, but there's also without a vision, people perish in another verse. Or well, another version is without a vision, people lose focus. So he wanted his people to grow and he wants us to grow. And you need to say to yourself, have I grown in the last 12 months in my business, in my life? in my relationship, in my relationship with God. And if we haven't, we've stalled. And we're gonna cover subjects right through uh, the many videos that are gonna come out of these books on leadership, on mentoring, a good vision, a bad vision, momentum, customer service, stepping out of the, the boat. Uh, so as you can see, we're gonna cover everything at some stage or other on the journey. So buckle up and get ready for this. And as I mentioned in Proverbs 29, 18, it says, without a vision, people perish. You need a vision for your life and uh, business. And Habakkuk chapter 2, verses uh, 2 and 3, you get the vision, write it clear, speak it out, and you'll be able to move forward. John, uh, uh, the third book of John in the New Testament, verse 1 and 2 says, I trust you'll prosper even as your soul is prospering. And this means in every aspect of life. So God expects us to be able to do well. And it says in the verse that you will prosper in all things. Notice it says all, not some. So we're going to start, as I said, with Genesis. So let me just share a few resources that might be able to help you on the journey as well. I found a book that was really helpful from John Maxwell. It's actually called The Leadership Bible. And it covers the whole Bible. He takes all his books, what he learnt, uh, and put it and in his books and put it back in where he got it from. So that's a fascinating journey. Another thing that will help you is a thing called the Word for Today. Now you can get it in a printed form like this, which I like because I can write on, I can copy, I can do things uh, to help me with speaking and sharing with people. But you can also get it in the online version every day. It's called the Word for Today com.au and you can get that and request the printed copy if you would like a couple of other devotionals that have been helpful for my business life and in ministry life uh, joelosteen.com and believinginyou.com.au and I know there's many others but they're short ones they speak encouragement into me and into into my life and that's what each of us need so there we go you, you get ready and if you don't invest in yourself then no one else is going to. So do that, learn, be challenged, and grow as you start to unfold these various messages that will come out in all these uh, books of the Bible. So see you in Genesis' next video. Thank you.